Our next guest music came to us through the Everly Brothers. Phil uh, started writing with Don and singing with Don, and they started with tunes like, Wake up, little Susie, wake up, and I'm through with romance, bye, bye, love. And I bless the day I found you. I want to stay in Kathy's clown and dream, 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 say no more. Phil Everly is still recording and making good records. Here's a good example. The song is called Dare to Dream Again. Phil Everly. <laughs> I'll put this mic down. The sound that you make is so personal. You, when you sing, we really believe what you're singing. You've always sung that way ever since the 50s. Do you know that I've been trying to write like that, and it's gotten so the songs I write, I write about six months in front of my life. And this last song that I wrote, uh, Dare to Dream Again, yeah. I said I'd better change the way I'm writing because I'm writing all those sad songs and they come true on me, you know, so I quit doing it. <laughs> and so this time I said I'm going to write myself something real positive, yeah. and uh, I did that this time. I'm hoping that happens. So. Do, you, do you realize the influence that your music has had? Do you, talk about king of rock and roll. The Beatles say that they copy the Everly Brothers for their style. Uh, uh, so many artists all over the world have copied your way of singing. D do your kids know who you are? Well, I got a 14-year-old boy, you know, and um, he listens to ELO, and uh, I've tried to beat it into him that I'm somebody, but uh, he's semi, uh, I have to force him to listen, you know, he's not really keen on it, you know. My little one, I have one at six, and uh, I've got him convinced that I'm hot stuff, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but the older one, these are the doubts. Yeah. It's hard to, to, to believe uh, the impact. Did you realize it at the time? Uh, no, you know, we were... Uh, Too busy doing it. Well, we had started out at a family show, you know, when I was a kid, when I was, uh, I was six and Donald was eight, you know. Yeah. And um, Notice how he says right away that Don is older, you see. Yeah, I got we got the right answer. And uh, we did that so long that we were so busy trying to do it. and. Uh, 
by the time we cut Bye Bye Love, we were really just going down for the session money, you know, the $64. And so we were broke and needed it pretty badly. And uh, so I didn't think about it. And after it happened, it was just kind of uh, on and on too fast. It moved very, very quickly. And uh, yeah. I was the next record, the next thing. I, I love the sound that you make, though. Uh, I love singing parts. I know it looks a little funny with me doing two voices, but... I'm a little schizophrenic enough to do it. <laughs> but, uh, it sounds great. Good luck with their Dare to Dream again. Oh, uh, thanks. As it, as it really gets released next week, and we'll be watching it climb the charts. Phil Everly was here. Thank you, Phil. Be right back. Everly Brothers used to have a design on the front of their guitars, Phil. Wasn't there a... Yeah, it was a big sort of uh, pick guard and all. But yeah. when I had this guitar redone, it was used to be brown. And, uh, but this is the Everly Brothers model guitar. Yeah, Gibson made a... Um, uh, my father and I designed a bridge, and uh, Gibson made them up and sold them. They've become quite a collector's oh, piece now. I wish it was a Davidson something. Just anything. Uh, a Davidson there's a, microphone. There's a show. Or, there's a show. Well, there is a show, but whatever. <laughs> That's it, plenty. Listen, in 1957, I was uh, 16 years old or something like that, and you were about 18. 18 we're almost the same 18. age. And you had a record called Bye Bye Love that with the girl I was going with said, Oh, if you play Bye Bye Love, I'll go home with you and it did a lot of help for me at 16. Every time I heard it I just listened. I didn't care what they said. <laughs> Can I sing that one with you? Please. Bye bye love. Phil and John. Thank <laughs> you.